Welcome back, we're here live, we're in Silicon Valley, heart of Silicon Valley, this is the San Jose Convention Center. This is day two of exclusive coverage from SiliconANGLE and wikibon.org for Hadoop Summit, the hashtag is Hadoop Summit. Go to the hashtag tweet, we're following every tweet, we're watching every tweet, we want to hear from you. If you have any comments, concerns, you don't like that Dave's not wearing a jacket today, no problem, <laughs> just tweet us, we'll make some changes and we'll ask the guests some questions. This is theCUBE, our flagship program. We go out to the events and extract the signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier, the founder of Silicon England. I'm joined with my co-host. I'm Dave Vellante at wikibon.org. Mark Taranzoni is here, he's the CEO of Squirrel. Mark, welcome to theCUBE. Thanks, Dave. So Thanks we've been Sean. hearing about security all week. <laughs> I mean, it's been a big topic of discussion. You know, John and I have been following this space since the very early days. You didn't really hear much about security. You didn't really hear anything about security. Uh, Charles from Cloudera was just on. He said, security today is too chunky. We need more fine-grained security. And I said, oh, that's a, that's a great lead-in to <laughs> Squirrel. So, um, what are you seeing out there? Yeah, a a absolutely. Well, a couple things I'll, I'll say is that, uh, Security um, security is not a bolt-on. You can't, you know, at some point decide you want to be secure, secure and try to bolt it on. You have to architect it in. It has to be part of the premise of the design and the architecture of your system from the get-go. And uh, fortunately, uh, with the product that we've developed, Squirrel Enterprise, um, based on uh, a core technology called Accumulo that, that was uh, developed by the NSA, has that fine-grained access control secure uh, system and we've built the ecosystem to enable it to uh, interface and work within an enterprise environment. Yeah, we had uh, Adam Fuchs uh, actually at the Wikibon headquarters, John, I think you saw it as well, um, did a little chalk talk, kind of lesson lear lessons learned from the NSA in you know, 10 years basically, better part of a decade he had spent there. And basically what he helped our audience do is just understand how to architect security. And of course there's been a lot of talk lately about the NSA and um, you know, how they're using data, but you know, we reported, I know you can't comment, but we reported that actually behind all that is uh, Accumulo, and so, so we're starting to see just a much greater awareness in this community of security. It's a, it's a top, you know, two or three checkoff item uh, uh, on the roadmaps of all the players here, but to your point, it can't just be a bolt-on. It, it can't just be a, a checkoff. So, what are you seeing in terms of adoption of Accumulo and, and how are people applying it in a, in a, in a way that uh, they couldn't, for instance, with a bolt-on? Yeah, uh, absolutely. So there's a couple things that come to mind, uh, Dave. So one is that uh, you know, Accumulo has that fine-grained control. What we've built with Squirrel is the integration into the identity access management system. We've also built uh, a very robust policy engine that takes the requirements of the enterprise, applies it to the user, and applies it to the data that's in the system. So you know that policy engine is critical. We've patented uh, patented technology around that. Additionally, we've added some encryption capabilities within the system. So it's really an ecosystem around security. And uh, when when we talk to customers, you know, one of the first questions is, you know, th you know, they all see the economic value of uh, Hadoop and HDFS. There's no question about it. Um, they've built solutions around it in the lab environment. And if they're a large-scale enterprise. Typically what happens is they go, go from that lab and try to bring it into production and they run into the CSO. And the CSO says, okay, I'm going to bring lots of information together, a lot of it is sensitive, maybe the combination of data sets is even creates additional sensitivity, how are we going to manage that in our environment? And that's, and that's usually when we have a very good discussion and, and, and leads to a POC and, and we're solving customers' real problems. So you guys just made your big announcement, Squirrel Analytics, uh, sorry, Squirrel Enterprise, right. and, and essentially it provides a, a series of development capabilities, analytics capabilities on top of Accumulo, kind of closing the gap between what I'm sure the guys had to do with the, you know, their previous lives and, and what a developer you know, wants to do now. Right. So talk about, Squirrel Enterprise, uh, what the objectives are, where you're at with that, you know, when it hits the marketplace and all that other good stuff. Uh, absolutely, well we're open for business, Dave, so okay. we're, we're, uh, we're in revenue now, we're selling, selling that product to customers. Yep. Um, we're on you know, version 1.1 of the product, so uh, you know, it's been out for about three months now and, and we're seeing a tremendous amount of interest in, uh, in the customer base. Um, we're targeting, certainly the Fed, Fed space is a good opportunity for us, we're targeting areas in the Fed, Banking and finance, telecommunications, um, and healthcare uh, are, are areas of verticals that are absolutely resonating. What we've built, to answer your question on the analytics layer, um, what we've built is a solution for developers to build real-time big data applications 
um, very easily and very, very quickly. So at the core, we've got the security and we've built the ecosystem around that security. We've also built the, the capability to index information as it streams into our, into our platform. So you know, once, you, once uh, it's ingested, it's readily available to the application of the user to start consuming immediately. Very real-time focus. Additionally, in, on top, we built a, a layer of discovery analytics that are really building blocks for building those big data applications. Whether you're, whether you're building something around the areas of fraud or uh, you know, anomaly detection, this layer of analytics um, you know, allows our customers to work at a, at a higher level than just at the accumulo level. So some examples are we have SQL functions in there, we have Lucene capabilities. Um, we convert the information to JSON, so very Mongo-like, it's easy to program on, on a JSON type document, document versus a key value store. And we've also built graph capabilities. So we almost think of our database in the NoSQL world as a three-on-one. Cumulo gives us a column store, we've added um, document store and graph store capabilities onto the system. What are some of the, Mark, what are some, some of the conversations that you're hearing? We're obviously monitoring the, tw the Twitter sphere on, sec on the security conversation, and you've got a variety of different s projects within Apache that are getting some traction, um, and also you got different perspectives, and there's also a talent crunch out there. There's really not a lot of <clears throat> talent that can come in and just start rolling out security. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> the perfect storm. So I want to get your take on what you think about some of the security conversations that are being proposed or discussed here and what you guys think of those vis-a-vis -vis what you're offering. Yeah, absolutely. So what we're hearing is security's top of mind. There's no question about it. And there are, there are a lot of different angles around it. Um, my view is that you know, it can't be a pointed solution. It can't address one piece of the ecosystem. You know, it's a stack. You've got to try to cover the whole stack when you're talking about security. And uh, we're, with our solution, we're attempting to do that. And, and uh, the feedback we've got from our customers um, is, is clearly around uh, you know, our ecosystem and security. The other thing that I've noticed just at the show, which has is, is been very uh, unique and interesting, customers are coming to us, prospects are coming to us, and they're actually being pointed to us from other ecosystem partners that are, that are at the show because they have a security need and they say go talk to the squirrel guys. So, so talk about um, Apache Falcon and Apache and Knox, these projects yeah. are being kicked around. What do they mean vis-a-vis -vis some of the things that you guys are doing? Yeah, you know, I, it, you know I, I don't know the details of those uh, specific projects, uh, John, but what I, what I think, you know, what it means to us is that this continued demand and requirements around security. We heard it in the keynote speak uh, yesterday. You know, that seems to be the whole. Um, I think, you know, additional projects that provide a more secure system will enable this, uh, you know, HDFS and, and uh, Hadoop and the systems on top to roll out more readily into customers, and I think it's all good. Absolutely. So, Mark, you got, you're a hard charging, you know, operations guy, you've, you've been a big company, small company, startups and, and the like. You have a, a unique challenge now. You got, you, 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 you got a startup, you got, you're building a team, you're selling into places, like you said, financial services, healthcare, government, uh, and at the same time, you're appealing to a developer audience. Um, so, talk about how you're approaching the developer community specifically, and, and yep. you know, what you're going to do there and are doing there to yep. attract those guys. Yep, yep, so uh, you're, you're absolutely right. I mean, talent is, uh, is critical. Mm -hmm. we're, we're a technology company, we need to continue to, uh, you know, influx more talent into the company. Uh, you know, from my perspective is you build, you, you build challenging products and, and solve hard problems, uh, the, the development community wants to be involved. We'll continue to, uh, you know, support uh, Cumulo and continue to contribute to that and we've built an ecosystem around that. You know, we don't have a, you know, an Cumulo show yet, but uh, you know, you have my word that in, you know, 2014, you'll you'll start to see a bigger community built around that, and and Squirrel will be the leaders in in helping to uh, that develop that community. Yeah. What about that? I mean, you see it. You know, you see it around. You know, HBase Con and certainly Mongo and and Cassandra, and and so you feel like it's time now for Cumulo to break out. Absolutely. You, you need you need a driver for that, mm -hmm. and uh, and, you and Squirrel it. will be the driver. You know, right, right. I, I think uh, you know maybe we'll coin the phrase a Cumulo Nation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're certainly big fans of what you guys are doing, Eli and the team there. I mean, you guys are we you know we saw you guys one of the hot startups. Your approach and method is different. 
than some of the other approaches, but again, that's not a bad thing, and what we like about what you guys are doing is you bring in the relevant solutions, security to the table, and it's not just early, the tech's there, and I think, you know, we, you know, we think you know, your success will be, will be uh, realized if you guys can navigate in the ecosystem, so my final question to you is, how are you going to navigate the sandbox that is the big data ecosystem from open source to commercial, yeah. that those dynamics are in play. Yeah, yeah, we're an open core company, so we'll continue to you know, use Accumulo's Apache version that's released as part of our core. Um, we're, we're selling to the Fed space, which is a natural given Accumulo's you know, heritage uh, from that space and our team's heritage from that space. But one of the things that we hear a lot from our commercial customers, and they like a lot to, uh, from us, is that um, th that core technology has been running in very large scale environments within the federal government for the last five years. Mm -hmm. It's very robust, it's very resilient. And as a startup, you know, a lot, of, a lot of times you have to go try to sell to these enterprise customers the fact that you'll be a robust solution. We, we have that almost as a given, given, given where that uh, Apache Accumulator came from. So that's a tremendous benefit in that. And as far as the ecosystem goes, we're, we're very partner friend, friendly, John. So it's a, it's a great question. We sit on top of, we're agnostic to the um, distribution below us. We sit on top of all of them. We have formalized partnerships uh, with a few of them that we've released and we're working on uh, you know, collaborating and, uh, and announcing a few more. So what should we be watching? What should observers be watching for? Milestones that you personally want to hit? What are you driving the team toward? What should we be looking for? Yeah, absolutely. So we're, we're going to continue to add to, from the technology standpoint to the product. So we've got a, a very aggressive and, uh, and robust roadmap ahead of us so that you know, the engineering team will have their heads down. Uh, I think what you'll start to hear is more discussions around who our customers are and uh, you know, I look forward to coming here next year and having one of my customers deliver a use case uh, key, uh, keynote uh, presentation. Or maybe like at Accumulo Nation. Uh, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. There's a conference in there somewhere. <laughs> we'll, and if there is, we'll be there at the Cube. The Cube will be there. Yeah, yeah, thanks, Mark, thanks for coming on the Cube again. Hot startup, you guys are um, doing some great work. This is theCUBE, we talk to all the folks who have the signal and we'll extract it from the noise and then with the CEOs, startups, um, developers, we'll bring that to you. This is theCUBE on siliconangle.tv. We'll be right back with our next guest after the short break. Hadoop Summit Live, day two coverage, continuing after the short break. <laughs>